All right, how to play Start BC, including a quality of life mod called Start BC Plus. These are two separate things. I'm gonna show you how to get the game first, and then I'm gonna show how to install the mod and how to increase your graphics and all that stuff. So, first off, you're gonna pull up this mega link that I have in the description. This is gonna have the correct version of the game that will work with the mod. You can't download any version, it has to be this one. So we're going to hit download. <clears throat> this is going to give you two things. It's going to give you a package, which is the game, and it's going to give you a wrap file as well. So I'm going to hit show in folder here. Here it is, up 2002. So I am going to extract this to my tutorial folder. You can extract this anywhere, but you just need to know where it is so that you can apply it to the, to the game. All right, so we have that set up. Now you can close this. You need to download RPCS3, which is the emulator that you're gonna run the game on, and you're gonna download PS3 firmware. So just a disclaimer before we go into this, I don't condone piracy. The mod creators don't condone piracy either. You should only be doing this if you already own the game on PS3 and you wanna re-experience it on PC. All right, let's download RPCS3. This is the emulator. All right, that's done. And then you're gonna click on, when you go to this firmware, how to update firmware, you'll have to click on this, update using a computer. Then you're gonna right click and save link as. And then I'm going to save this to my tutorial folder just so I have everything organized, boom. It's gonna say insecure download blocked. It might say that for you. So you'll have to click on that and hit keep or allow download, whatever, whatever your computer says. So now we got to go to our downloads here. We have RPCS3. We're going to extract this, put it wherever you want, but I'm going to put it in my tutorial folder just to stay organized. All right, boom. So now I'm going to go to that tutorial folder. And first thing we're going to do, open up RPCS3. It's going to give you this menu. You can use dark theme, you can turn it off. And you have to click I read the quick start guide and then hit continue. All right, first thing you're going to do, go to file, install firmware, and you're going to find the folder that you put the PS3 update dot pup. Boom, put that on. Next thing you're going to do, wait for this to compile the modules. I'll fast forward. Now we're going to go to File, Install Packages, and you're going to go to your folder again, and you're going to install the package. It should have this name, 8332, blah, blah, blah. Open that. It's going to say Supersonic Acrobatic Acrobatic Battle Cars, boom. All right. So once it installs, it may take, lo take longer for you. Um, the next thing you're going to do is go to your folder in your files. And you're going to find this wrap file that's called up 2002, whatever. Drag and drop that onto the game. So now you've allowed the game to be playable. The next step is to go to the mod itself. So you need to go to the latest build channel. And you'll start here. You'll scroll down to this Google Drive link. Download the mod, download anyway. All right, so now we have that in our downloads. I'm gonna bring that over to my SARP folder. Put that in the SARP folder by cutting and pasting. Now, all you have to do is go to install packages again, and you're gonna install SARP BC Plus. I'm gonna say yes. So now you can see it has edited the game. It changed the logo of the game. Now you're gonna be able to launch it. It'll take a while to load all the shaders and stuff, so I'll fast forward that. Right, here we are. 
So you're going to see compiling shaders a bunch in the bottom left. Also, when you get to this screen, if your controller isn't working, you'll have to go to pads and on the handlers on the top left, you can click on whatever controller you're using. So I'm going to hit save here. Now my controller actually works. And you can just press X. It's going to be pretty laggy because your game is loading shaders. So you have to give it a few minutes to load all this stuff. That's why you heard the audio clipping. So I'm going to close the game and show you a few improvements you can make to the game with the mod. So go to configuration and click on GPU. You can up the resolution to 1080p and you can also bring up this scale. So I have a 1440p monitor. I brought it up to 1440 there. So for frame limit, you can turn that to you know, your display or whatever. I'll put it on my display. And then you can apply those. So now you'll have a higher res when you start up the game. You full screen it here. And yeah, you are officially able to play SARPC Plus. The only other thing I have is if you want to play online, you have to go to configuration, RPCN, and then go to account and you'll create an account. I can't create it right now because I'm running the game. And then once you do that, you can go to friends tab and add other people with their username. That's how you can play online matches together. If you have any questions, you can ask here or in the discord. We have a pretty active community. We're trying to get online games going. So get in here. <laughs>